Welcome back to the channel everyone and today's subject is how not to get caught speeding again. In this video I will demonstrate the steps for you and every rider can take here in the UK to not only stop you from being caught speeding but your friends too. So to speed or not to speed is that the question? We're all humans and we all come with our flaws and many people speed these days for the reasons that they choose but in a court of law there's no excuse accepted. It's tough, but that's what it is. Just ask Bruce. Everybody remembers uh, Bruce. He's the uh, teapot one guy, he used to be a police officer, was picked up for speeding and went through a series of uh, investigation. And during that, he decided to leave. You know, he'd had enough of the police force at that time and off he went on his merry way to venture off into the world of YouTube and he's doing particularly well and having himself a bit of a nice life. So sometimes things are meant to be. What I find is whilst riding along, I often notice speed signs which are not in a good position or indeed a good condition physically or visibly. So I decided to look into what the regulations are in regards to road speed signs. And this is what I discovered. Firstly, road speed signs are not posted by the police, but by your local council. The council do have to abide by all the rules which govern the use and deployment of road signs. And the rules are produced by the TSRGD. <laughs> Sounds like a Thunderbirds. Traffic signs regulations in general directions 2016 being the latest issue. The size, sighting, color and use has to agree with section 85 of the Road Traffic Act in 1984, sir. To erect and maintain prescribed speed limit signs in accordance with the Secretary of State's directions. What this means in basic terms is that if a road traffic sign posted by a local council falls below the standard set out in this document, the traffic sign is no longer legal tender and cannot be used in a court of law by means of prosecution or indeed by a police officer at the roadside. So let's get into that. First of all, the number of road traffic signs have doubled in the last 20 years, which is a bit confusing because currently councils to save money are opting to post one traffic speed sign instead of two. More about that later. But during the same 20 years, sign blindness has been declared a modern phenomena. So no wonder many of us have been caught speeding, we're not seeing the signs even though they are posted, whether they're in pairs or single. So let's start with the frustrating 20 mile an hour zones, which now appear everywhere. And it's fair to say that there are places where they can be justified, but all too often it's not the case. Traffic police have stated in some places there is no requirement for a council to post a 20 mile an hour sign but are bound by their duty to support the council in matters of speeding. First off, please note that each council area can interpret the guidelines and rules to suit their own risk analysis of their own roads. So don't expect that all road signs will be posted in the same places as you travel from one county to another. For example, if riding in a built up area where there are street lights placed more than 200 yards apart but no posted speed signs you must assume a speed limit of 30 miles an hour. Equally whilst riding along a rural national speed limit road 60 miles per hour and you arrive at a hamlet of houses you can assume there might be a speed reduction sign posted but if the road passing through or past those houses has no visible street lights posted there cannot be a reduction of speed made by a local council, not without national authority. No lights, no speed reduction. Unfortunately, the government agrees that 20 mile an hour speed limits have their use when placed correctly and have given that control to local authorities. These authorities should only place 20 mile an hour signs after consultation with local communities or members of. If a road zone looks to be oversized with 20s, then you need to ask why. Some councils have been accused of citing these signs, requesting police cameras, and then receiving the funding raised from ticketing. Please don't quote me on this, as I received this from a police officer off the record. 
where sign numbers are now being reduced, it's possible that councils will use one and not two signs to identify a speed reduction zone. The problem here is if a single sign is posted and falls below the posted standards or damaged or overgrown with foliage, this zone is no longer reduced in speed. It is the responsibility of a council to cite single signs robustly after a thorough risk analysis. But where it can get tricky is when you leave one road and turn into another, especially from a main to a side road. And if the speed limit differs from one road to the other, this is where the new sign will then be placed. And it can be placed anywhere up to 20 meters from that road junction. So on approach, take a good look around to identify the new speed sign before turning into that road. And if you can't identify the speed sign, then ask why. If there isn't one at all, and the street lighting is the same as the main road, then the speed limit is likely to be the same. Remember also, when leaving a lower speed limit to a higher speed limit, not to accelerate before passing the higher speed sign. I have been caught out doing this once, and even though everyone else was doing it, I was the one who got pulled. It's just a numbers game, huh? Also, don't forget those pesky temporary speed limit signs, especially where roadworks are being carried out. There's a legal requirement for councils to post these in areas where roadworks are or have been conducted, especially when the road surface has been altered or resurfaced. And if you do not adhere to the maximum speed reduction sign, it is at your peril should something go wrong and if an accident occurs which is attributable to excessive speed that was posted as a maximum not only will your insurance back away but you will be prosecuted by the local traffic police so when you're out there keep your eyes peeled and watch out for those speed limit signs not forgetting the temporary ones because at the end of the day they do serve a purpose but also cost you points and money and not forgetting that speed is relative, is relative to the size and width of the road that you're on. So every 8 to 10 seconds it's recommended that you do glance down and visually check your own speedometer and it would be a good opportunity at that time to check your rear view mirrors to make sure you're not being followed by the traffic police if you're unsure of what the posted speed sign is because generally the wider the road the slower it feels the narrower the road, the faster it feeds. Speed is relative and you need to pay attention to all. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and ring that bell for the next one. But don't forget as always, ride safe, think safe, watch out for the speed signs and I'll see you on the next one.